We're almost ready. Uh, and, yeah, there's a... um, so, hi. Uh, yes, we don't have one chairs. There are um, three chairs up here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, so, the last time the uh, Black Catholics Choir was here, it was February 21st, and a lot of you were here, and um, it, it was great. I mean, it was, everybody was like so excited afterwards. So, uh, they are back to thrill us again. So, lucky for us. And um, it looks like every, people are coming in. Um, so, uh, do you want me to wait for a minute? Or? I need to wait, I need to find
is our pleasure in the Chicago Black Catholic Choir Incorporated to once again bring our voices to you this evening. I am Robert Watkins, Jr., the president of the Chicago Black Catholic Choir. We are very thankful to have another opportunity to share our gifts of gospel music this evening. Gospel music's power, zeal, and purpose had and continues to have a tangible impact on the human mind, body, soul, and social causes. Not only does the gospel sound express emotions, but it also creates bonds and reduces barriers. The gospel music sound gave rise to feelings of optimism and helped enslaved African Americans maintain their faith and hope in the face of daily hardships and seek solace from the pain and suffering of slavery. It conveyed the message of hope, redemption, and inspired all people to persevere in the face of adversity. But most of all, listening to gospel music is a joyful experience. Tonight, we are excited to return and lift our voices in song once again. We are a spirit-filled people, so as the spirit moves in this place, let it move in you. All are welcome to join in. Feel free to sing with us, clap your hands, stomp your feet, as we continue to climb higher and higher. Without further ado, it gives me honor and the most distinction to introduce the Chicago Black Catholics Choir Incorporated. We would like for the audience to join us, and you do not have to stand. Turn to the back of your uh, program, and you'll see the first song called All Are Welcome. And I'm going to have Lauren, would you mind um, leading them in this song, please? Thank you.
Jesus. Yes. You're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. Yeah. 
some air bikes on the chest of Bailey. We didn't know the first part was lift every voice, I mean lift every voice and sing. The second one was amazing grace. But what I need you all to do is this part. Let me tell you what happened to my mom. My mom went blind when she was carrying us. And after we were born at home, because my mother didn't want to go back to the hospital, so we were born at home. So this song is about that, that incident that we learned down the line. And of course, you all are going to sing this with me after I, I teach it to you. The first part is, our life was mission impossible before we were born. My mom said no, she accepted way back then, live or die, she was keeping her twins, we're talking about grace and mercy, talking about grace and mercy, talking about grace and mercy, talking about, talking about, talking about grace and mercy, talking about grace and mercy, what shape would I be in? If it wasn't for the twins <laughs> Many ups and downs I have found Through my life's journey The devil tried to kill me But one thing I know All of my sins, God bless me with his heavenly twins. We're talking about grace and mercy, talking about grace and mercy, talking about grace and mercy, talking about, talking about, talking about grace and mercy, talking about grace and mercy. What shape would I be in? If it wasn't for the twins, do you know grace and mercy? Do you know grace and mercy? Do you 
know grace and mercy? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know grace and mercy? Do you know grace and mercy? What shape would you be in if it wasn't for the twins? Thank you so much. Got it. 
and most of all, the great Chicago Black Panther Choir. We thank all the residents and staff of Presbyterian Home, Westminster Place, for this terrific opportunity to share our music with you this evening. We hope the songs sung tonight will be a beacon of light to guide and protect you. A very special shout out to Nancy and Betsy with the Activities Department for their behind the scenes coordination and the Food Service Department for this gracious reception. For more information on the choir, please feel free to visit our website, www.chicagoblackcatholicchoir.org. As we prepare to leave tonight, please, if you can stand, if you can't, sitting is fine, and sing along with the choir on the back of your program, Walk in the Light.